In this video, we will review the very nice feature of HQBird called FireBird SQL Advanced Monitoring. FireBird SQL Advanced Monitoring is included into every version of HQBird. In FireBird, there are several ways, uh, several sources to receive information about performance. So, Trace API, monitoring tables, uh, log table analysis, and others. All of them are used in Firebird SQL Advanced Monitoring. When you add database uh, in HQBird, uh, there is an option to enable Advanced Monitoring. This option is enabled by default and we recommend to keep it uh, because it will allow you to gather all necessary information to profile your database and to uh, resolve performance problems. In order to view results of advanced monitoring, it is necessary to access a web console of uh, advanced monitoring viewer at the address localhost 8083. The user and password are the same as for HQBird, so admin strong password. When we open advanced monitoring, it shows monitoring data for the most recent hour. And uh, Usually it makes sense to stretch this period to something like 6 hours or for example 12 hours or if you want a bigger look uh, for the day. Also here uh, you can see there are historical data. For every day when monitoring was enabled we can click on the date and see what was the performance of the database uh, during that specific date. The idea of the graphs is to present the performance metrics in the uh, intuitive way. For example, if you see that there are some peaks, it means that the load on the database was high. The data for the graphs are gathered uh, from the different sources of Firebird monitoring. Uh, for example, the first graph is uh, built on the basis on the monitoring tables and it shows us uh, the overall number of fetches, reads, writes and marks for the database. We can switch off graphs uh, for read, writes and marks and keep only fetches. Fetches correspond uh, to CPU rounds because every fetch is an operation with the Firebird cache. And usually the fetches is a very good indicator of the load on the database. So we can see that there was some high number of fetches at the specific moment, like 1044. Uh, the next graph shows us information about mm, number of users. Uh, and we can see that at the, this specific time, 1040, uh, there was not really high number of active statements and not there was no um, extra users. So the number of users for, was 800, 880 and it's uh, like an average or below average for this database. So uh, the advanced monitoring collects data uh, not only from the Firebird sources, but also from the uh, database, uh, from the server, sorry. Uh, the server itself, here we can see the uh, RAM, the green graph, and load average. Load average in Linux corresponds to CPU load. Okay, so we can see uh, here, but at night at 10.40 and uh, here at 1040 there are some peaks. What was uh, exactly at that peak? Here on this graph we have uh, information from the trace. Trace is the very good source of uh, performance information in Firebird. And uh, to analyze what was exactly at that moment at 1040 uh, we should click on the graph at that moment and scroll down. Here 
we will see the detailed data breakdown for 1040. What we have here uh, for 1040, we have um, top of the queries which were executed during the uh, operations, during that minute. In this table uh, with top queries, uh, by default, these queries are sorted by the fetches, so by the CPU load in practice. So we can see that at this moment, for 10.30, there was a query which performed three times during that minute and consumed totally like 12, almost 30 millions of fetches. Uh, this is pretty much uh, for the for the load. So 12 million of fetches is is not a small amount. And uh, the time for that query, the for total time for these three queries was uh, like three uh, 35 seconds or 35 uh, 693 milliseconds. So it means that this query probably is the reason why we see the peak, why we see the spike uh, in the monitoring data. If we click on it, we will see the details for this query. First, we see its full text uh, for the analysis. Second, we see its parameters. Uh, we see its plan and we see the performance statistics for the query. With this information, we can go uh, to the NASQL development tool like SQL Studio, which, include, which is included into HQBird and uh, analyze or try to improve the performance of this specific query. We can click on the next query and see its details. You can see with the uh, second query uh, in the top also is pretty long. It was a two executions, uh, totally 11 seconds. So each execution like five or six seconds, it could be considered by users as slow. And the number of fetches is, uh, well, not so big as uh, for the first query, but not iceable, like two, two millions and 400,000s. Uh, we can see these uh, query details. So there are some performance statistics and so on. And of course, it's text. Uh, of course, there could be another sources of the problems. Uh, one of the frequent problems, uh, which is not directly related with uh, SQL queries performance, is a uh, transactions, specifically long-grain active transactions. Fibot Advanced Monitoring collects data about long-grain transactions and uh, keeps it for every minute. So for 1040, we can see what was the longest uh, active write table transaction started. You can see here that there was some uh, application called a server which started at 8.25 and uh, how to estimate is it really uh, a problem or not a problem in terms of uh, garbage collection in terms in term of excessive record versions uh, here we have an indicators on the this graph uh, where we measure the difference between the uh, transaction markers so the first uh, uh, marker is the uh, difference between all this snapshot and all these interesting transactions. As you can see here, uh, there was a decent amount, like 2 millions uh, of uh, difference between all the snapshot and all these interesting transactions. It means that potentially in the database uh, there are some amount of uh, uh, old records version which should be uh, collected which which actually should be swept uh, at 530 in this database 
there is a scheduled sweep, manual sweep uh, through the HQ bird with, uh, of course, with some optimizations, uh, which uh, was started at 5.30, clean it, and after that there is no problem with the excessive garbage versions. Uh, the next indicator is the number of uh, uh, long grinding active transactions. So, as you can see, the number of long grinding active transactions grows, uh, grows during the day. And we can see that at every moment, usually, uh, we have some application which started rather long ago. Like, uh, for example, if we click on um, 1550, uh, we have application started long running active transactions and 950. It means that there are some um, old record versions which are uh, retained from the um, garbage collection. And uh, this number grows uh, over the time. So let's switch. Yeah, you can, but these actually, these uh, application keeps the connection for a very, very long time. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, we can see that it is still connected. Yeah, still connected. So it's interesting. Let's see what we have on the next day. On the next day, uh, yes, uh, so it is still here. Right, so we can see it by attachment ID. So somebody just left the open um, the open application at that IP address, uh, and it it was running for more for almost a day, for almost 20 hours or something like this. Uh, at that moment, like about 2 a.m. Uh, there was probably autom it was automatic closing or something like this, or somebody just closed it. Maybe it's what was a long day and the person just left the workplace. Uh, but we still can see that there are some um, application was connected from the yesterday. So it's uh, we are viewing the data from 26 August 26, but this is from August 25, and it keeps running until uh, uh, the moment of the maintenance when the HQ bird disconnects such long running transactions. So it's possible to uh, to say HQ bird that these transactions should be disconnected in order to perform a proper maintenance. So but uh, using these two graphs actually uh, we can easily say, uh, easily predict what is the uh, problem or there is no problem with uh, excessive garbage versions either with non governed garbage versions indicated by OS, OST minus 8 or by uh, the record versions retained by the long running transactions. The third indicator is uh, uh, a bit different but also very, very useful. You see the new transactions per minute. Uh, so for example, here we can see the number of new transactions executed at 10.30 was pretty high, like 3,000 uh, 3, of transactions per minute. Uh, pretty high for this database, but of course there are databases which runs 20,000 of transactions per minute and so on. If we are really interested why uh, what happened at 10.30, we can set it to really uh, big scale, like from 10.30 to 11. 11 and see for every minute why what we have. So the for, for 10.39 we have this query. Uh, for 10.30 so when we click on this arrow, it just goes and shows us the next minute. Uh, 
at some moments the information uh, is not collected it is skip it this is normal so there is no problem with that uh, yeah so we can see but there was some pretty much activity at that time frame about about 10 40 and we can uh, concentrate our efforts to improve uh, the performance of this specific query uh, which definitely looks like a problem so you can see that uh, fiber SQL advanced monitoring uh, have a very powerful way to look for the uh, performance problems here we can see uh, the spikes the peaks when we have a lot of simultaneous connections for examples and we can analyze the detailed data for every minute the data for every minute are being um, sorted and presented in the way which uh, usually uh, corresponds to the uh, most prob probable performance problem so it is possible to scale the graphs uh, it is possible to concentrate on the specific uh, moments and browse the data uh, on per minute on per minute basis uh, so this is really nice and useful and really recommended for all HQBIRT users to use it uh, for the everyday monitoring of the performance of their databases uh, we also use uh, these performance monitoring not only for um, directly monitor the performance but all also to uh, view details uh, from the server here uh, you can see for example the uh, show fiber logs the show fiber logs shows us important uh, messages from the firebird log from the server so you can see here for example there are some sweeps uh, actually many sweeps for, there are some several databases on this server it can be really important to uh, see if these firebird log have some uh, problem like errors or uh, any other specific messages uh, also the important thing that we can uh, monitor data not only for the single server using the local host firebird uh, advanced monitoring viewer uh, this data uh, they could be gathered together in the uh, IB surgeon control center and uh, if you have license for HQ World 2022 uh, all editions uh, you are eligible to have an account in uh, uh, IB Surgeon Control Center call it ccibacom address is ccibacom uh, here on ccibacom uh, we have an instance of IB Surgeon Control Center running this control center is a powerful powerful tool uh, which have several uh, built-in uh, services like uh, fiber configuration calculator traces analyzers and of course of course uh, the ability to monitor several servers it is possible to send data from the HQ board to the cloud uh, IB surgeon control center call it online uh, tools for Firebird but also it is possible to have your own control center to organize a, a comprehensive monitoring environment uh, we will discuss the control center and its abilities in the next video thank you